Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. So in this video, we are going to learn how to create Salesforce lead from form stack form submission. So let's suppose I'm running a restaurant chain and I'm collecting all the potential leads with the help of form stack. Now I want that whenever someone fills this form, it should be automatically created as a lead in my Salesforce account. So I completely want to automate this process and to do this, I'm going to use Pabli Connect. So Pabli Connect is an amazing automation and integration software which requires no coding or programming skills. Here I just need to build connection between form stack and Salesforce. Public Connect runs on two principles, which is trigger and action. Here as my trigger application, I'm going to take form stack from where I will receive new form submission and this complete workflow here will get triggered. And then in my action application, I'm going to take Salesforce where these leads will be added automatically. If you want to learn this amazing automation step by step, let me take you all to my screen. In this video, we are going to learn how to create Salesforce lead from form stack form submission. For this, we are going to create automation between form stack and Salesforce with the help of Pabli Connect. So this is the landing page of Pabli and you can visit this simply by typing pabli.com slash connect in your browser. Now after browsing the website, we need to sign into a Pabli account. On the top right corner, you can see two options, sign in and sign up for free. If you are an existing user, click on this sign in. But if you are a new user, click on the sign up for free and this will give you 100 tasks free on monthly basis. As I'm an existing user, I'll click on the sign in. And here a dashboard has appeared showing me all the Pabli applications. Here I need to click on this Pabli Connect Access Now. And it has taken me to this dashboard where I will be able to find all my workflows here and all the folders that I have created here. If you want to create a new folder, you just need to click on this plus icon and from here you can create a new folder. For now, I want to create a new workflow for which I need to click on this create workflow. And first I need to give the workflow name and then select the folder in which I want to save this workflow. So first let's name this workflow as how to create Salesforce lead from from stack form submission. And now I need to select the folder. So these are the folders that have been created and I want to select this all automations and then click on create. Now as soon as I click on create, two boxes have appeared in front of me. One is trigger, other is action. So trigger says when this happens, action says do this. So trigger is basically an event which starts the automation of workflow. There can be only one trigger in a workflow but as many as action applications as you want. Here in this workflow, I want to create Salesforce lead from form stack form submission, which means where whenever I will receive a new form submission, a lead should be automatically created in Salesforce, which means whenever I will receive new form submission in my form stack, this complete workflow here will get triggered. So here in my trigger application, I'm going to take form stack. And then in my trigger event, I will take new form submission. Now I have to click on this connect. And if you have an existing connection, you can go with save. If you don't have one, click on this add new connection and then click on this connect with form stack. Now over here, I have already logged in in my form stack account. And that's why I just need to grant away some permissions for which I need to click on this authorize and authorization successful. Here you see my data is safe with Pabli Connect and I can easily authorize my account. Now I need to select the form. So after making the connection in this drop down, I will be able to find all the form that are created in my form stack. So as I just have this one form by the name integration, here I will select that form and then I have to click on the save and send test request. Now over here I can see this waiting for the response and it's written once you have clicked the save and send test button you have to do a test submission so that you can get the response over here. Now to see whether the form stack is connected with Pabli Connect or not I need to do a test submission for which I need to open my form stack form. So this is my app dashboard of form stack and over here I can see this form so I will open this forms. And then I can see my form by the name integration. I will open this form and my form has all these fields, first name, last name, email and phone. And now I have to fill this form. I have to do a test submission for which I'm going to click on this view live form. And then I'm going to enter some dummy details over in these fields. So let's say my name is 
So here I have entered the details. My first name is new, last name is user, email address is new sixty five seventy eight at the rate publicuge dot com, and my phone number is this. Now I have to click on this submit form. So I have successfully submitted my form. Now I need to open my public connect and check whether it has captured this response there or not. And if I scroll down, I can see here I have instantly captured the response. The phone number was this that we just entered. The email address was new sixty five seventy eight at the rate pavlitudes dot com, and the first name was new, last name was user. Now we can say that public connect is connected with my form stack, and whenever I will receive response or someone will submit the form in form stack, all the details will be automatically be captured in my public connect. So the connection between form stack and public connect is successful and now I have to move to my next step which is whenever I receive a new form submission I want to add this as a lead in my salesforce so here in my action application I took salesforce and then in my action event I am going to take create lead click on connect so if you have an existing connection you can go with save if you don't have one Click on this Add New Connection and then click on this Connect with Salesforce. Here, it is advisable to keep your accounts logged in before making the connection. And as I've already logged in in my Salesforce account, I'm simply going to click on this Allow and Authorization Successful. So Salesforce is connected with Public Connect, and now I have to enter all these details. So the first one is I have to enter the last name, and to enter this, I'm going to use a method called mapping, which means I'm going to enter data from my previous response. So here I have received my response from form stack, and as soon as I click on this last name field, in this dropdown I can see all the responses that I have received in my form stack. Here I have received the name as the user in my last name. So here I will enter that name, which is user. And then I have to enter the first name, so I will follow the same process. And here the first name was new, so I will enter that. I am going to skip this because this is not a required field. And then I have to enter the company. So I have not received any response for the company. So here I am going to simply enter the email address, which was new sixty five seventy eight at the rate pavlitudes dot com. And then I have to enter the mobile number, which was this one. And then I am again going to enter the email address new sixty five seventy eight at the rate pavlitudes dot com. So over here, I will select the lead source as web, and then the status as open, not contacted, and the rating as hot itself. Now I'm going to skip this and leave these fields blank because these are not required one or needed for me to create a lead in Salesforce. But if you have received response for these fields, you can enter following the same process. Now over here, mapping is important so that every time you receive a new response, it is taken into consideration in these fields. Manually entering the data will make these fields static, and the information will not change even if you have received the new response. Over here, if I manually enter any data, this field will become static, and every time I receive a new response, the result will not change. So, as to keep these fields dynamic, we use this process mapping. Now, after entering all these details, I simply have to scroll down and click on the Save and Send Test Request. And here I can see I have received the response with the ID of the lead. Now I need to open my Salesforce and check whether this lead has been created there or not. So this is my Salesforce account. I have to first refresh this. And here in my recent items, I can see this new user. So I will open this, and I can see I have created the same lead. The name was new user. The company that we entered was the email address. Here we can see the email address as new sixty five seventy eight at the rate pavlitudes dot com, and the phone number was this. So now to check whether this automation is working perfectly fine or not, let's open my form stack and fill some other form. So let's say this time my name is. So here my name is latest user email address is latest six eight eight at the rate pavlitudes dot com, and my phone number is this. Now after entering all these details, I have to click on this submit form. And here I have successfully submitted my form. Now this lead should be created in my Salesforce. Now let's open my Salesforce. Let's go back and refresh this page once. And here I can see I have created this latest user. The phone number was this. Email address was latest six eight eight at the rate pavlitudes dot com, and the name was latest user. So now to summarize, we took form stack as our trigger application where we made connection with Public Connect. 
then we filled the form and received the response in the public connect after which we took our action application as salesforce where we want to create these responses as lead we entered all these details with the help of mapping simply clicked on the save and send test request and received the response as these being created as a lead in my salesforce so we have successfully created automation between form stack and salesforce with the help of public connect i hope you like this video thanks for watching Not only these applications but you can integrate many more applications with the help of Pabli Connect. Now if you have any doubt you can reach us at support@pabli.com. If you have any query you can reach at forum.pabli.com and if you have any pricing related issue you can visit the website given over here. Also if you find our videos helpful do share it with your friends and like and subscribe to our channel.